Okay, everyone, we're here with uh, dairy model Melissa Curry. She is, of course, she has been in many um, competitions and shows over the years. Tell me, Melissa, how did you uh, get started in this whole thing? How was the... My starting point was the FHM, the magazine, had the High Street Money's competition. Yeah. And as I say, well, I actually wasn't my dream to be a model whenever I was young. It was not even something I had even thought of. And um, just a photograph of me had went onto the magazine. Yeah. Um, it was just a bikini, you know, an ordinary photograph just taken from an ordinary camera. Yeah. Sent it on to the FHM. And from then they sent me a letter saying that I had made a short list. And that there was 13,176, I think it was, people in at that time. Wow, that's a big amount to uh, one over, isn't it? <laughs> Achievement for me. I was only, I was only about 18 at the time. Wow. Um, so from there, I went to Newcastle and done an interview and done a photo shoot. Um, and from there, I was shortlisted in the top 100. Um, so from that, I went into the magazine and done my interviews and same my shoots. And from there, just started from there. The nice one. <laughs> so from there, FHM, massive. You're pro it's probably one of the best selling magazines in this. On the shelf, isn't it? It is. It's the last magazine. Um, right. So it is quite big that way. Yeah. And um, you ventured into different uh, aspects of modelling over the years that followed. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me a bit about the different aspects of. Yeah, well, though I'm 25 now, through the years I've been doing it, seven years or so. And Long time. Getting too old for it now, that's what's wrong. Ah, I don't think so. <laughs> Um, so I've done everything. So they started off with the FHM and it seemed to be more of a glamorous kind of thing. So I've done a few um, from there was glamorous laundry shifts um, from, for various different things. I've done a lot of interviews for newspapers and done articles with them. Um, as I say, because it was the first Irish uh, girl in the FHM magazine at the time. So it was a big thing for here mm. um, back then. Um, so that kind of got me used to working with cameras and you know, photographers and that kind of thing. Aye. And then as the years went on, I went down the fashion route. I've done a lot of fashion shows, um, done a lot of things from the shops that are looking to advertise clothes. Yeah. I've done a lot of them, they've been in papers and you know, that kind of thing. I've done uh, a lot of bridal stuff. Right. Bridal wear, bridal stuff again, as I say. Um, more so being the glamorous kind of side. Um, I think the FHM kind of stuck with me through my years. And Aye. The blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, what about, have you been abroad doing the modelling at all, or have you bothered going to Britain or anything like that? No, the going only to... I've been to Newcastle, I've been to London as well, um, it's more around this kind of area, uh, Belfast, and all that kind of thing. The yeah. Hobart, it's more the point. Aye, well, Happy there's a lot of them about, a lot of us about. They stay in Derry. Well, um, as far as, like, competitions, local competitions, um, like, compet the competition next month, would you do them regular or would you have like a couple a year or what way would you do it? No, we really have only done a few. We've done um, the Miss Dairy and I got into the finals of that. Cool, um, yeah. But, um, and more as say the shoots and that kind of suit me and the interviews and that kind of thing. I'm not really a stand up in front of millions of people on top kind of person. Uh, but you're actually, you're going to be venturing into <laughs> transition, making the transition into media now, aren't you? Well, I'm now in media studies. Student, yeah. I'm enjoying that. As I say, I kind of got to the stage. I'm doing it that long. I've done every aspect. I've done the cap off. I've done the shows. I've done the Aye. interviews. Put the shoots. And as I get older, I'm looking to work behind the camera more so. Aye. So I'm learning the video. And I think you'd make a great uh, film star myself. <laughs> That's my opinion. I think 100%, <laughs> Mike 100%. I think presenting would actually, a wee birdie told me you're a very good presenter, so. Apparently I'm a natural. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good step in another direction from the modelling. You should still do modelling for another few years maybe. Uh, I'm not sure that, I'm not a great expert on that kind of thing, but I'm sure you'd still have it, you know what I mean? Well, it's always something I'll have, you know, as kind of, as I say, an open window for me. And as you get older, there's new paths. Aye. Um, say now I'm more interested in working behind the camera and, you know, maybe go into filming or have my eyes on the presenting at the minute. Aye. Um, more so, um, I'm looking to do a tutor of the younger aspiring models and um, you know the catwalk training, you know, kind of learning the safety um, of going and chits and that kind of thing. Because I've been down routes that haven't always been good. You know, we've been with the dodgy photographers and you know been given the wrong advice and you know that kind of thing. So uh, I'm thinking now I'm at a position where I've done basically everything 
I was in at the end of the day, but um, I'm looking to kind of teach younger aspire models the right way and put them on the right path uh. at a very young age. I'm sure there's a bad risk of you know going down the wrong roads and stuff in yeah. the, in your industry is kind of especially if it's more of a glamour side. Uh, you do get the dodgy photographers and yeah. you know, have had an experience where you know you, you kind of felt uncomfortable. People on trying shoot. to get you to do stuff that's yeah. maybe too you know. Yeah, and like you can you tell when the photographer's pushing you to do something, uh, you know, or they're you know you can tell from their, their body language and stuff too. So uh, they prefer to teach people, you know, how to avoid that. Yeah. Well, that's very positive, and I'm sure that um, anything you decide to go on and do will be very positive in the future. So this is Melissa Curry here, local model here in Derry City, and she's on a. This is what is this what you usually go through when you're going to be getting ready for a shoot, Melissa? Yeah, two gears tortured. Right, yeah. We don't mind the rules. <laughs> Been treated like a princess. Yes, I love it. <laughs> You lose all touch of reality then, that's the problem. Now that you are, they speak to me firmly on the ground. At least you hold me down on each side. Yeah. Is this what you usually get done, this kind of style, is it? This is what I normally go for, normally in the hair. Right. Makeup, She's going to bump it up then for later on tonight, aren't you? Uh. And uh, what about uh, you know that, that particular hairstyle, what's it called? Has it got a name? Or? This is just tassels, because it was a house. Ah, right, yeah. Uh, it's like about board smooth, I don't know. Yeah. They just out of bed look. Uh, <laughs> about Plus the makeup. <laughs> Where I wake up like this here every morning. Yeah, ah oh, well, not so bad then. <laughs>
as you can see Melissa Curry on a photo shoot here with TaylorMade this is John of course from TaylorMade doing his doing the photo shoot how do you feel on the shoot Melissa? Friend, relaxed, John's good to work with good stuff Good one. I'll keep it nice and safe. Good ball. I don't like that, but yeah. I will get you in the big. I agree. Hey? Oh. Okay, we've got John here from TaylorMade product or from TaylorMade Photography, sorry. And um, tell me, John, how you got started in this whole thing? Really started about three years ago, two and a half, three years ago. I used to be keen when I was really young. That's many, many years ago. Yeah. And then um, started fostering. Okay. Foster parent, got foster kids, so thought I'd better get a camera to record the fostering. Then did one. One person contacted me because I did some photographs of my daughter, stepdaughter, yeah. and from that I'm working every weekend now. Brilliant, eh? Mainly doing sort of portraiture, model model shoots. Yeah. So uh, you were saying that you're going to be transitioning into a different venture now from the current name's going to change and stuff? Yeah, unfortunately I have a daytime job that um, I don't particularly like. Right. However, my aim is to go into photography full time, so I'm in the process of changing from tailor-made photography, which is the moniker I go under currently, yes, to lens freak photography, building my own website, um, just had pictures published in uh, a Dublin magazine, so things are starting to pick up. So I think which it's, magazine is it? It's Kiss. All oh, right, yeah. So it's time to go to the next next level now that's pretty photography. you know that's pretty good it's it's uh it's always a great incentive when you've got that kind of uh you make a break like that and you can you know, your pictures are being pro published it's always it's bound to be a great kind of uh, it does i mean it's it, it gives you a lift it, it proves that you're on the right track yeah um i mean i get lots and lots of comments and good comments from fellow photographers so i know i'm doing the right sort of work well, that's positive. Yeah, so that's that sort of spurred me on to, to take it even further. Right. And have you been working with uh, Melissa Curry for long? Um, only, rec only recently worked with Melissa. Right. Um, but a wonderful girl, great model. Yeah. Doesn't need any um, instruction. She just, she's just a natural. A natural, yeah. She's a natural, yeah. She's done it for seven years. So I believe and, I've seen some uh, of her earlier stuff. Right. And I have to say... She's actually beauty hasn't diminished. No, time. exactly. Yeah, well, she's actually transitioning into my field, which is media. Uh, she's talking about transitioning into that now in the next while, and um, she wanted me to do this documentary as a kind of a, you know, to show exactly what has she has done in the world of photo of um, modelling, and I think that she would make a great on screen uh, do on screen roles very well. What do you think? Oh, definitely, I mean, great personality. I mean, you can see for yourself, she's a very attractive girl. Yeah. So she has everything you need 
package. She's a total package. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely yeah, package, yeah. 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 Um, and she's a, she is a pleasure to work with as well, which is also right. it, it's nice. I mean, some models can be difficult. Don't take instructions well, etc. Uh, et very much me, me, me. Yeah, <laughs> with Melissa, it's that's it, great it's though, fun. isn't it? it was uh, fun. Every shoot I've done with her has been fun. Yeah, and that for a photographer it is great because you know you know that the models relax, doesn't feel in any way uncomfortable with the photographer. Uh, so you know when you get that, it, it's good for me, and it's obviously good for Melissa as well. Yeah, exactly. Well, tell me, has all your do all your shoots uh, be outdoors like today, or do you do a lot of indoor stuff? I'm in the process of getting my own studio built. Ah, oh, very good. We garage. It's going to be turned into a studio. But I, I have done. Um, my living room is currently a studio. All oh, right. Yeah. So it's also. <laughs> my wife used to teach pole dancing. Right. And she has a pole studio in Derry, and I would have used that on occasions. Ah, but yeah. I do prefer the outdoor location work. Right. I do. Oh, it's nice to be out in the air and all, and it's good for the system and all too, I suppose, and it helps whenever you incorporate that into the shoots, I suppose. Yeah. I just wish Derry, Stroke London Derry, had better weather. Yeah. <laughs> that's the biggest problem here. Ah, it would be absolutely amazing if it did, I suppose, for that field of stuff. Because I only do it at the weekends, it's very difficult. You can't rely on having decent summers. Right. But uh, that's one of the pressures of being one of the, uh, One of the catches. Yep, yep, without a doubt. Well, thank you very much for joining us here, and um, it's great to have you involved. And John from TaylorMade Productions, everyone, good to meet you, John. And you too. All the best. Thank you very much.